Everything I brought here are sexy foods. All these particular types of vitamins have to do with increasing your testosterone circulation in the body. Well, helps with the libido, but it also helps you lose weight. So bananas? Potassium. These are full of potassium. <clears throat> yes. <sighs> I'm feeding oh. you. <laughs> oh, that's it, baby. That sounds good. Today, Jenny Lee, the sexy nutritionist, is back to tell you how eating sexy can help you lose weight. You might be pleasantly surprised by some of the foods that are aphrodisiacs. Great to have you back Thank again you today, Jenny. Thank you for having me. I'm so excited to be here. Well, so you know, usually you think that losing weight, I mean, I hate, you know, when you put on weight and losing it, it's a pain. But yes. you actually make it sound like it can be fun or sexy. Absolutely. So what's, what's sexy well, about losing weight? <laughs> <laughs> it's not necessarily what's sexy about losing weight, but it's what you put in your mouth that makes it sexy. Oh, okay. okay? And you brought a lot of stuff a here today. A lot of props so. that I'm going to show you because, you know, the way things happen, my book is about using aphrodisiac foods to help you lose weight. Right. Mm -hmm. And people don't realize, you know, there's a reason why certain foods are considered aphrodisiacs. One of which is because they tend to increase testosterone production. Hmm. which is found in both women and men. People don't realize that it's also yeah, found in women. Exactly, it's just a men thing. Um, so if you use the right types of foods, which are considered aphrodis aphrodisiac foods, you of course are increasing the testosterone and libido. But what people don't realize is that these same types of foods also help increase your circulation in the body, hmm. burn calories, and increase your metabolism. So that's what I brought. I'm going to give you examples of what I consider some sexy foods yeah. and some unsexy because foods. Because I've you heard want to stay of like the, you know, the Atkins diet and yes. the low-carb diet, but never the aphrodisiac diet. No, so I give you credit and you for have that to one. be and you have to be careful with the Atkins diet. I mean, they do work for certain people, but for instance, the Atkins diet is a highly protein-based diet. Hmm. When you're eating a lot of protein, you're going to have to require seven times more water because it takes oh. water to break down protein. Same with carbs. Carbs, it's the opposite effect. You're, when, when you have too much carbs in your body, you're not gonna burn fat. Mm -hmm. So there has to be a balance, and that's what the aphrodisiac food is. I give you permission to, to, to eat anything you want, Well, you but in moderation. Me, okay, because I love chocolate. And yes. Sugar. So I can, oh, can, honey, can we're going to talk chocolate and sugar. No, no, no. You know what? We're going to hold that thought. <laughs> okay, okay. Because I brought something special for you in a oh. little bit. I got a surprise. You. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. Well, considering surprised. all the food in the room, I can't wait to find oh, out. Oh, honey, what it yeah, is, yeah, yeah. So. <laughs> You're gonna be a little bit shocked, actually. You may not eat chocolate after I'm done with you. Oh. Mm-hmm. Don't take away my chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> that, that, that's and like that's my the thing. comfort. I will. I won't. I won't. I won't ever take away any food from you. Okay. You know, but, it, 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 but it's it, moderation. In a, one of the stores, Borders or Whole Foods or something, a couple of places, I saw they had emergency chocolate by the counter, and I thought, oh, how yes, funny. I get the concept. Of the impulse chocolate. buying, right? The impulse buying <laughs> chocolate right there by the counter, the last minute thing. And that's the thing. The trick is never take away anything from your diet. We are designed to eat all types of foods, including fat, okay? If we don't eat fat and if we avoid some of these foods into our diet, we're gonna crave it. And that's when we usually fall off the bandwagon. Because people always think that you should eliminate fat or Absolutely. The less and, fat and, the and, better. No, and, and let me tell you right now, that's the worst thing you can do. Your body needs fat. That's right, mm. I did say it. The body needs fat because fat helps your hair, your skin, organs. You, I mean, would you not put oil in a car? Would you not put oil in your car? Change the oil in the car. I just went through that, so yes, I would. What happens if you don't change oil? <laughs> they told they me. <laughs> right, exactly. <laughs> like, you better put some oil. Exactly. In the car. Well, yeah. the same. That's what fat does to our body. You need fat. In fact, funny. You so all that food that. I ate at Thanksgiving was good for me then. <laughs> in moderation, dear. Because well, let me give you an example. This. Oh. <laughs> this is a, an exact replica of what one pound of fat looks like. Wow. Okay. Check okay, that out. considering that's what I it do looks like. Okay. 20 pounds at the moment. Uh, but it's... like I was mentioning, you have to eat fat, but it's what kind of fats you're going to eat. There's good fats and there's bad fats, okay? So what, what, what's good? Well, fat? for instance, the saturated fats and the trans fats you want to you want to avoid. Those are those are usually found in fried foods, for example, oh. butter, margarine, those types of oils. But there's monounsaturated and polyunsaturated fats that you do want to focus on. The monounsaturated fats are more like the vegetable oils, olive oils. You can hold those. I don't want to Oh, hold you don't want to hold them. Yeah. It makes you uncomfortable, does it? <laughs> there are other so things squeaky, here that look better. Yeah. Um, but, you know, and then the polyunsaturated fats is like the avocado. People stay away from the avocado, for example, because they say it's high in fat. Yes. But it's a good fat. That fat actually helps you lower cholesterol rather than increase it. And that's kind it. of unusual, isn't it? Because you usually don't think of fruits as having a lot of fat. <clears throat> Absolutely, but you also don't think of fruit having a lot of sugar. And that's the sugar segment that I'm going to do with you later. And I want you to be aware of certain things about sugar also. When it comes to fruit and vegetables, even in fruit and vegetables, you have to eat that in moderation. So if you, if I, if you think eating a bunch of vegetables and fruit is going to make you lose weight, it might. But it's not going to be healthy for you. It's
it's going to cause other problems too. So even with fruit and vegetables, you have to have a very balanced diet. Balanced diet. Mm -hmm. So you ready to see some sexy I am. foods? Okay, okay. Well, let's start first. Well, first of all, let's because this is the first one here. <laughs> These We've are got examples. Oh, I have lots of samples. I have lots of samples. Um, these represent vitamin B. Okay, and everything I brought here are sexy foods. All these particular types of vitamins have to do with increasing your testosterone circulation in the body. Will helps with the libido, but it also helps you lose weight. So ah, that's the correlation. So bananas. Potassium. These are full of potassium. <clears throat> yes. <laughs> um, not that way. They're full of potassium. <laughs> Yeah, I think there's a... <laughs> you know, well, see, you know, food is sexy. Food is very sexy. But you know what potassium does um, to our body, actually, it regulates the electrolytes in the body. If you have deficiency in potassium, guess what? Or too much potassium, you're going to throw off the arrhythmia in your heart. You're going to end up with arrhythmias in your heart, and that can end up with deadly results. So you can change the rhythm of your heart mm -hmm. by having too little or too much potassium. Oh. So, you definitely so how many to... bananas are too? Because I used to eat a couple of bananas a day sometimes. When I, was I would do maybe two a day. Two the a thing day. with with bananas is that they are loaded in sugar, <clears throat> and any mm -hmm. and the thing that see and, and I'll go into this in a little bit of more detail. But the problem with fruits and sugar <clears throat> is that your body does not recognize the difference between the sugar found in a candy bar and sugars found in the banana. So even though you think this is healthy, it processes sugars the same way. Ah, uh, because sometimes people <clears throat> will tell you that. Uh, processed or unprocessed or something, but you're saying sugar is sugar. Sugar is sugar. Your body does not know the difference. And what happens is if you have too much sugar in your body, guess what your body does with it? Right here, baby. Uh, right here. Turns it into fat. It all comes back to fat, it all comes it? It's all a cycle. So potassium is definitely one of those sexy foods you want to focus on, which increases your libido. I'm not going to eat the banana. <laughs> um, <laughs> and the cucumbers also? Cucumbers too. These, the avocados, cucumbers loaded with potassium. So if you want potassium. And these are the, the avocados. So. These are the avocados, yes. High in fat, but it's a good fat. In fact, there's a story behind the avocado. I don't know if you want to say, but the Indians, in the Aztec Indians, they actually call the avocado, um, which means um, testicles, believe it or not. Well, I was going to say that I think between the bananas and the avocados, anyway, I won't so even see, go to the obvious they, they goes, You know, so. but that's okay. Oh, honey, I go on all, all the time. <laughs> these, are, these represent vitamin B type rich foods, okay? And vitamin B uh, types of foods actually increase your metabolism. So if you have a lower metabolism and you want to increase it a little bit, focus on vitamin B rich foods. Potatoes? Potatoes loaded with vitamin B. Oh. Um, because it, people, you now I love potatoes, but people always, I guess it's the stuff you put on potatoes that aren't good for you? Exactly. Now, potatoes are also carbs. They also have sugars in them. And so again, it's all in moderation. It's a balancing game. And I will never tell you to avoid any certain item of food. Just find a balance between them. <clears throat> Granola bars. Oh. Great source of vitamin B, green beans, asparagus, popcorn with no butter. Don't put the butter on it. No butter, okay. Um, pistachio nuts loaded in vitamin B. Not only uh, does vitamin B decrease the metabol I mean, increases metabolism, but they also help your nervous system. Did you know if you have a hard time sleeping um, or you're too anxious, vitamin B types of foods will give you a calming. Well, you saw me keyed up running around here Yes, earlier, oh, so honey, here, like, have a yeah, popcorn. Yeah, you better have some popcorn. <laughs> popcorn. It does you good. Go ahead, baby. It's a little stale, but it's okay. We will be right back with Jenny Lee right after this. And we are back with Jenny Lee, the sexy nutritionist today, telling you how sexy eating can help you lose weight. So, you know, and by the way, once I start eating, I have a tendency to keep eating. So yeah, I no, think honey. I'm gonna, no, I, no, 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 oh, no, 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 Because these have butter in it. Oh, oh it has, you're not supposed to bring butter. I know, but the only, one, butter. it's the only prop I had. I didn't have time oh. to get that. You brought, you brought so you me a bad pop, prop. Well, you know what? This belongs in the naughty box. I have a naughty <laughs> box for you that I'll give you later. So what else? So that's for later. Okay, so here's another thing that we have for you. Okay, omega-3s are an extremely sexy food, okay? And of course we think of omega-3s with fish. But oh. some people don't necessarily like fish, but there's other things that you, of, of course this represents tuna. But you do know that kidney beans. Is, is tuna sexy? Tuna is sexy. Tuna oh, is sexy. Tuna. It's an omega-3 It's an omega -three food. It's, con okay. it's, it's highly concentrated. But so are red kidney beans. Um, oh. They contain a lot of omega-3s. So if you're not into the whole fish, seafood, kidney beans, great omega-3s. Because omega people always act like tuna is crap actually. Great, also oh, great for your nervous system, omega-3s, and they increase circulation. So now, now when you're increasing circulation in the body, that applies to everything when you're increasing blood flow, if uh, you catch my drift, which is why it's considered an aphrodisiac type of food, if you catch my drift. 
So why haven't I heard of this diet before? Because nobody's put two and two together, baby. Yeah, boy. That's so. why I'm here. <laughs> the other thing too, another um, sexy type of food is um, tends to be chili, jalapeno, anything spicy. Um, they contain an oil that's called capsaicin. And this capsaicin, uh, of course, it's very, it's very hot, and it helps burn calories. You know, you know when you eat something spicy, you start sweating, your heart starts increasing. Guess what your body's doing? Your circulation it's, or metabolism. Absolutely, is... you're increasing your metabolism. You're burning calories. Anytime you have a high accelerated heart rate, you're increasing your metabolism. You're burning calories. Um, but that's. <clears throat> So you're saying I should eat hot, spicy foods. The problem is I never do because I always go for like mild. You have to too. be careful because if you're if you do have if you suffer from ulcers or of other things, your the stomach lining might not be able to handle it. So you have to be you have to know that already. So don't start eating it just because I said to do it. You and have sometimes to, what you know, they say like I've heard like with people with heart problems. Or don't do it. And, and you know the thing also foods, with so. these two the spicy foods that they actually create um, release endorphin levels in your in your system. Did you know oh. that? That's why you tend to even three hours after you eat something spicy your body's still, it's having a chemical reaction and you're still burning calories three hours after you eat something spicy. Did you know that? So I'm going to run for Taco Bell after the show and get the, okay. the, the hot no. sauce. Is that what you're telling me? <laughs> well, unless you eat just the hot sauce because I'm sure oh. they, they use oh. different ways of cooking the meat and the hard tech. No. See, I have bad habits. <laughs> I mean, I'm in here. We got to teach you, no baby. Okay, let's go here. This is vitamin A. <clears throat> These represent vitamin A's, and these are great antioxidants for your body. Of course, we all heard about vitamin A, good for carrot, beta carotene, of course. But these types of, of foods are, are a great source of antioxidants. So it helps your body. It, it, um, how do I say, how do I tell you, it, it um, detoxifies it in a way. Ah. So these are great types of food also, and they're considered aphrodisiac foods. Again, because all these foods uh, have a connection with increased testosterone levels, increased circulation, all of which increase libido. All so of there's these the, All of them do. So All if you're eating do. popcorn in the movies. Well, yes. <laughs> Haven't you heard of popcorn making out? Come on, oh, baby. Okay. What do you think That's, is doing uh... it? Um, these, of course, are vitamin Cs. Of course, you've seen this. What people don't realize is mushrooms oh, loaded okay. with vitamin C. Garlic loaded with vitamin C. Oh. I think everybody just thinks vitamin C is a nice orange. Yeah, I love oranges. That's... But did you know the body, human body, cannot produce vitamin C? No. Human so. bodies cannot produce vitamin C. The only way we're able to get vitamin C is through our foods. And vitamin C is very important because it burns calories. And of course, builds your immune system. Yeah, when we I all read that, that. I thought, right, well, right. I, better, I should be on the orange diet. The, well, <laughs> well, yes, but, but what you also have to understand is that the vitamin C has an effect on the body and it helps burn calories. So that's why it's also a very sexy type of food. So. But it's strawberries. Um, strawberries. I didn't, they have vitamin C? Strawberries, you know, that's why you see me on my book with strawberries. Yeah, actually, right it, I would say probably that's one of the most classic aphrodisiac types of foods, but also the sexiest food because you will see it in my other baskets here. It contains, it's a very little fruit, but it contains powerful mixes of different types of minerals and, and, and fruit and um, vitamins in one little tiny thing. So it goes along with, and it's low in sugar. Vitamin, I mean, oh. strawberries tend to be lower in sugar than, for instance, a banana, for example, which tends to be higher. I was just gonna, so far I haven't gotten to eat anything. Well, I had a little popcorn, but. Oh, baby, I'm saving the best for last. Okay, okay. <clears throat> now, these are vitamin Ds, okay? Vitamin Ds, of course, you have the olives, the milk, the oats, cheese, of course, the lovely egg. And I usually get questions about the egg, whether or not to stay away from it, because they tend to be high in cholesterol. People say egg they whites are. or something, or? Yeah, but you know what? There's nothing in egg whites. Did you know that? No. There's nothing really in egg whites, nutritionally wise, nutrition wise. Everything is in the yolk. So you know what? Again, it's a moderation. I'm not going to tell you not to eat eggs. You should eat eggs, but don't just. But I think in the book, day. though, there was a chart where you talked where it said sexy yes. alternatives, and one was like one egg, but then you put two egg whites or something was the alternative. Two egg whites because some people will not do the egg yolk because they're afraid of their cholesterol. Of course, if you already have high cholesterol, avoid the egg yolk. You know. Oh, okay. So again, you have to know your body. You have to do blood work. You have to, in a way, know what you already have. Don't start eating eggs because you have high cholesterol. No, that's going to jeopardize. So then obviously eat the egg white if that's the satis because that's the way to satisfy that egg craving if you have it or egg beaters, you know, or things like that or other supplements like that. Oh. But anyway, so vitamin D, um, vitamin D is a great, it's a great vitamin and um, uh, definitely one that you should add into your diet and actually vitamin D and E. And did you know that these types of foods help with anti-clogging in your blood? No. They, help, they keep your blood from clotting. So good thing. But on the other hand, though, easier blood flow. But they can be bad for you if you eat too much, right? 
anything can be too bad. In fact, vitamin A's, what are my vitamin A's? The ones I just showed you? If you eat too much vitamin A's, actually it can be toxic. Did you know that? Vitamin A is a fat soluble uh, vitamin. What that means is that it stores in the fat and you can potentially have vitamin A stored in, in your body for six months. So if you're constantly eating vitamin A, you're increasing that level. It's, 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 it's retained, it's not water soluble. So what's gonna happen is you can actually have high toxic vitamin A in your body. Again, even with vitamins. Too much of a good thing. And what happens if you get too much vitamin D and E? Vi well, the same thing with vitamin D and E and A. Um, you can start developing toxicity in your body, which can le lead to possibly liver, kidney uh, problems, failure. I mean, it can affect your body. Anytime you're putting anything in your body, you, we've seen it with potassium, how too much, too little can affect your rhythm in the heart. Same with too much of a certain vitamin. It can really mess up your organs inside. It's just a very complex system, but that's why you can't avoid something or put too much of, some, of something good in it either. It's, it's, you have to have a balance. You have to You're going to tell me that about chocolate too, aren't you? I have a bad feeling about this. <laughs> you know what? I don't have to tell you anything about chocolate because I'm about visual. All you have to see is you're going to have to see it. You're probably going to decide that on your own. Oh. Mm -hmm. And these right here are zinc. Oops, my little oh. basket. These are zincs, okay? They're going to strawberries. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no, baby, I have enough. These actually help uh, break down corn, uh, bran flakes, onions, um, strawberries, um, uh, peas loaded with zinc. And they actually help break down carbohydrates, which is wonderful. Did you know that? So that should also help you lose, Absolutely lose weight. Absolutely lose weight. See, no, I think you're hungry. I think you need a strawberry. Sure. Come here, eat a strawberry. Do you have any yummy? Isn't it sweet? Oh, they're, good, yeah. they're good, aren't they good? I and love, they're good. I, see, I love fruit. Oh, but see, and, and again, you should definitely incorporate it into your diet. Anything you can incorporate into your diet, but but not too much again, because if you eat, a, I think it's about four five strawberries, you're 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 talking about too much sugar at that point. Again, everything oh, really? is in moderation. You can't believe how much banana for the, has. for the whole day. For the whole day, and that's you. You do want to eat a little of everything, but not too much of that. Because one see, thing. I could, I actually had what I called like the fruit diet once, where it was mostly like apples, mm -hmm. bananas, oranges. But I could definitely. The strawberries. If, if you want to go for something that has the lowest sugar in fruits, then you should aim for the strawberry. Now, let me show oh. you something. And it's funny, these are low in sugar because they feel, or you know, they taste yeah, so Yeah, those sweet. are very, very sweet. If I can do this right. Now, this, my dear, are unsexy foods. Ooh, unsexy. Uh huh. And do you know why? <clears throat> because they taste good. <laughs> Why do you think they taste good? They have to be. They have to mask your body. They got a lot body. of chocolate and sugar. <laughs> right? I mean, it, let, let me put it to you this way: you obviously have to make it appear and flavorful and, and look good for you to eat it because it's not good for you. So you're masking. Okay. Well, it. before we dive into this, we're sure. going to take a break, but we'll be Let's right back and we'll find out about the unsexy foods. Let's go for it, baby. We'll be right back. And we are back with Jenny Lee, the sexy nutritionist today, telling us about unsexy foods now. Unsexy foods. I know this is a all part. All the stuff I can't eat. All the stuff I exactly. want to eat. Exactly. And, and this I is what eat. your viewers are probably not going to like me too much about. But I'm I doing don't. it for their own good because You're you know take what? take these away from you me? You know why I'm going to take these away from you? Do you want a nice sex life, baby? <laughs> I'm taking them away from you. But I live for those. But you know why? You know why? Sugars and, car sugars and carbohydrates, actually, what they end up doing is they increase, um, they overstimulate your adrenal, adrenal gland, okay? Now, anytime you increase your adrenal gl gland, you're gonna go high up, but then you're gonna go straight down. And so when you have exhaustion of the adrenal gland, guess what happens? You stop producing testosterone, okay? But so I, guess if, what? I, if I ate a few of these, I could run around the building. Yes, really baby, fast. but then you're gonna be in bed <laughs> and not enjoying something else. <laughs> So and, this is this is and Gatorade. Gatorade's good for you. This is good stuff. Yeah, isn't it? This is Gatorade's Gatorade. good for you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me show you how good Gatorade is with your uh, going into a segment because I used um, to drink that before I'd run or afterward. Mm -hmm. Forty grams, forty-one grams of sugar, by the way. And I'm going to show Pure you something. sugar in a bottle. I yeah. love it. Yeah. Let me show you something. Now, I emailed you. Remember, I asked you what your favorite snacks were? Yeah. And what was it? Gatorade? No. No, not Anything Gatorade. with sugar. Ice, uh, ice cream. Okay. Oh, no, you're not. One of the things that you said was ice cream. Okay? So, that, like, I'm giving you examples here. i got to find my right it's measuring empty. thing. It's empty. <laughs> Shh. Bring me an empty bottle of ice cream. <laughs> yes. Because I'm, I'm, I'm helping you. All this real food. I'm helping you. Empty thing of ice cream. <laughs> But let me give you an example, okay? This little container, which we could eat, right? In a day, easily, right? I can't tell you how disappointed I was. That's how much that sugar is in there. Okay? Why so don't I can you just drink, drink a glass of sugar. Absolutely. How gross is that? Okay, okay? when you put it like that. That well, is know, how much sugar 
Seriously? <laughs> wait, wait, let me get you a strawberry. <laughs> this is like clean, right? It's yeah, 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 it's clean, it's clean. Oh my God, don't do it. What are you doing? <laughs> Not good for well, you. I told you I love sugar. But, you know? but see, that's how much sugar is in that little okay, ice that cream, is, okay? That is kind of excessive. It's kind okay, of, it's, even it's, for me. It's, it's gross, okay? But, oh. Okay, here we go. Pepsi. Now, wait, wait your turn, young man. Uh, <laughs> Come here. Okay, now here, chocolate chip cookie. Oh, I can eat that cookie. Isn't that though. pretty? Yeah. That's how much sugar it has. This little tiny thing, how much sugar it has. Think but about it. But it looks it. better that way. But it looks better, exactly. Why? Because it's, disguise, this, it's in disguise, okay? You oh, have to wow. be a food detective here, okay? Now, another thing that you said was really that you love is, of course, and we talked about it, is the chocolate bar, yeah. which, of course, I'm going to give to you. You're no, old I'm enough to decide. This I'm going to eat. And, um, yeah, this is it. And that one also has seven... It has seven teaspoons but that's, of chocolate. Well, that's, so it's the same I mean, about the chocolate chip cookie. Think, that's not, I could live with that. I think I can live with that. <laughs> okay, yes, but did you know that a banana, that. a banana, and actually an orange, has, if you take uh, probably a little bit down here, but it's similar to the amount of sugar found in an orange. A oh, little bit less. I'll, I'll so, that but that's too. what I'm saying. But see, that's what I'm saying. You have an orange, you have some strawberries, you have a chocolate bar, add, 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 add. By the time the day is over, you probably oh, have. Like, <laughs> is that what you're telling me? Which is why you want to avoid sugar. That's why they tell you if it, you you're prone to diabetes because you're putting so much sugar, and that's why people don't understand. My father does have type two diabetes. We'll see. Then there you go. My dad did too. Hmm. My dad did too, and he actually passed away because of it. Hmm. And so I have to watch what I eat, you know. And that's also a misconception that you have to be overweight to be diabetic. That's not true. Hmm. Well, because so I you think do, what Lance Armstrong is done. Uh-huh. Right? I th believe he is. So you do have to be careful with that. But what I'm trying to tell you is that sugar is found in everything. So that's why you have to avoid the things that you certainly know have it because but, you're getting so you're it in other ways. you're going to take away my Pepsi, my Baby. old standby. <laughs> why don't you just drink this instead? It's, I mean, it's look, because it's that's what a you're drinking. And a smile and it's a Pepsi or what's there? I don't know what it is. It's pep Pepsi makes you feel good. I don't know. Yeah, Pepsi. Maybe, <laughs> yeah, no. But but you know, then why don't you just give me a little bit of food dye, some water? Cheers. Because um, that's exactly how much. It, and see, and this is and this is deceiving, because on the back of the bottle it says for eight ounces. Okay, it's 28 grams of sugar. This is not eight ounces. This is 20 ounces. Okay. So then somebody looks at the label and they're like, oh, that's not too bad, 20, 28 grams of sugar. But you have to look carefully because that's per serving, okay? And there's two and a half servings in here, which means, honestly, there's about 69 grams of sugar in here. This little that, bottle. How much did you say this is again? That's about 23 teaspoons. Oh. Which so transfers, okay. oh, but, so but essentially even, 69 grams of sugar. Okay, so that is the whole container. So that is the whole container, yes. Yeah. So if you but drink, wait, but just, you're okay. not going to drink just but half of it. But I've got an it. orange and I've got the cookie and I've got, okay. And you got milk, the soda. So you got the soda, okay, yeah. But guess what, do you drink milk? Oh, the cookies, I got the cookies, yeah. Rice, potatoes, all have sugars. And milk. you have to watch out with milk because milk has sugars that can actually trigger diabetes. Did you know that? The milk found no. in sugars can trigger diabetes too. Because the milk is what you use to wash down the cookies. Well, of course, <laughs> but it's not going to work. So you do want to, it's, it's a balanced game. And like I said, sugar I'm a bad student. But you can't be taught. You can't be taught. But you know, I'm trying to, to not only help you live better, but, I, but my goal is to also spice up the bedroom too, like an appetite for both. You know, um, because they do, they're, they're related. If, if you have too much of one thing, it does have an effect on well, productions of the Well, for me, the unsexy thing is when I step on the scale and see the weight I gained during the holidays, and it's kind of like, that really sucks. That's for everybody, though. So you shouldn't feel bad. You know, everybody does. Everybody gains about 5, 10 pounds during the holidays anyway. Yeah, it was a little bit Which more. is why it's everybody's new, well, you know what. It's everybody's new resolution. And, and plus, you do know that in winter, we tend to store more fat. I'm storing it for summer. <laughs> Well, you get to work out. That's just divided. The next one on fitness or on exercises that you could quickly, easily do. You can actually do one right now if you want. If you're just sure. pucker your butt up. <laughs> and honestly, you will burn calories. Okay. Now, do you want? Do you want? How many do, times do you have to do that? Well, you know what? You hold it, and you'll actually feel oh. it. If you do it right now, you'll feel it burning. You'll feel it burning within a few minutes. Guess what? You're burning calories. You're twining up the muscle. So exercise can be done anywhere at any time. In fact, the, so I've heard people say what, you sit with the abs tight, but yeah, just yeah, think no, no, of everything. No. Use a potato. Start doing curls with a potato. I mean, you know, you can apply it <laughs> into anything. If you want, I, what I would do if I were you is get two of these, use them to work out it's instead of going right. this way. No, but then afterward, I could use it as the drink or the Gatorade. I could work it. Uh, no, okay. No. <laughs> Let me see. The Gatorade had, how much did I tell you? Yeah, 41 grams. This actually has more than this. So Gatorade is better. 
you know what, water is always best, but, but Gatorade does have some electrolytes, I will give you that, it has potassium, it has sodium. Like when you, doesn't it replenish something? It does, but, but it, does, it, does, it does to a point, especially if you're working out, but it is, it has a lot of sugar though. A lot of sugar as well. So you see, everything everything has to be in moderation because you will find everything. Now, now here's some powerful. Um, if you want to increase your testosterone directly, these are wonderful. Brown rice. Brown rice, and almonds. Almonds. I think maybe I've heard that about almonds, or you know, but but rice, I had no brown, idea. But no, not just rice. A brown rice. Brown rice. Okay. Brown rice. These two, especially these two, um, are great sources of helping you increase your testosterone, which is again and found now, in both why, men and why women. Why do women need to increase their testosterone too? Because again, you always think of it as for guys, but it's also part of. Well, that's why I think there's such a stigma that women tend to men tend to be more sexually active than women, and that's not true. Women can be. The problem is, is that I don't think women realize that they can increase it also, and, and there, there, there's other. There's, there's also psychological things with that, that you know, with why women aren't. But you know what? That's a myth. Women are just, if not more sexually active than men. Well, you know, since you mentioned, I was actually going to ask you about it because we've been doing various shows on relationship and yes. that sort of thing. In fact, we did a, a show about um, with a French woman or American woman who lived in France talking about she thought that there was a difference between French women and American women, that American women have this thing like they're over guys, whereas the French women are into guys. And in, more like into mm -hmm. romance and love and mm -hmm. sex and whatever else. Sure. But sometimes in America there's this idea that sex is something that's forced on women by men. Mm -hmm. I mean, even like in a, I'm not talking rape, but I mean like in a marriage or something like, well, the women don't, you know, you they, know they put up with it because they have to. Absolutely. You know, I mean, sex is so taboo. And that's why when I've done, um, you know, I do radio shows on the side. And when I'm on them, you know, heaven forbid I mentioned the word sex, but now my listeners have gotten used to the whole concept of me saying it. And I play with the whole concept of food and I do have double meaning in what I say with food and sex because they are, they can be interrelated. But I think there is what I've noticed is such a stigma. Oh my gosh, sex, you said the S word, but you know what? It's so natural and it's found in everybody. I mean, it's a natural, but you have to understand it's a natural human emotion, instinct, feeling, and you should you know, enhance that. You should, you, should, you should embrace it. You shouldn't run away from it. And these foods will certainly help you all right, Dr. Well, I'm calling you Dr. Now. <laughs> Jenny Lee, the love doctor, the sexy nutritionist, told you to embrace it. Don't run for it. Her book is Eating Sexy, Lose Weight. Thank you very Thank much you for so being much here. Thank you for having me again. And bring more food next time. I will. I have something Thanks else Thanks for watching. We'll see you. Bring chocolate, bring sugar. Wait, one more strawberries? Oh, one more strawberry. Okay, yeah. Okay, look. I got a few seconds on the phone. My hands are clean. Don't worry. I'll clean Oh, that's it, baby. That sounds good. There you go. That part, yes. We'll see you now. the first time. But none of these. See, I'm going to keep you healthy. <laughs> no, stay away from the chocolate. No, they're coming with me. Oh my gosh, you did! You know what? They all vary. Cal, they all vary.